Today we're leaving Camaray. We spent a little over 24 hours here. Got some good groceries. And I'm not going, I'm just gonna go around the corner to Brest and there's supposed to be like a big sailboat race with the Amoka uh, 60, I think, Vendee Globe kind of big racing boats with the foils. So that'd be kind of cool to, to get a look at them before we head across Biscay. So we'll probably anchor out tomorrow or maybe uh, spend the night in Brest and then tomorrow afternoon head across Biscay to Spain. Winds are super strong in this marina here, so gotta be careful getting out. Getting out the marina here. The boat's got an interesting thing going on there. There's my friend, he told me about the race over there. This is a nice little town to stop in. Uh, I got an email with the invoice, I'm not sure how much it cost. I'm assuming it's probably not, not too much. It was only 20 euros at the uh, in St. Malo, and this didn't seem quite as nice as that. Man, these guys are flying. We got the jib pulled out here, and we're doing five knots. Really good speed. We got about 15 knots of wind, really good sailing, reasonably flat water, maybe one foot seas. Probably calm down even more as we work our way further up into the bay. Wind just picked up to 20 knots. I was about to put the mainsail up, but I think we'll just keep on going like this because this is working. So I rolled up the jib to move the pole and we're doing five knots, between 4.7 and four, five knots, under bare poles with just the wind and the current. Not bad. The sails only got us an extra three knots, but I think I will put them back up just because I'm a sailboat, you know? Can't let people know, know, our, know our secrets that we could just put the sails down and still be doing five knots. They really don't show up on camera. Very. I think those are our race boats over there. Let's see if we can go say hi. Looks like they're about a mile away, a big little group of them. Wow. 
Look at that thing. So fast. Whoa. Coming up. They're coming up. Coming up. Oh, they're coming up. Oh, oh they're doing it. Nice. It's hard. Okay, a little bit more of the upwind. <laughs> that boat just yelled at me for getting too close. Oh no, they're getting in trouble too. so fast. It's just smoking that guy. He's getting smoked. Exciting sailing here. I feel like we're in the race here. Oh, ho, ho, ho. The Canadians are coming for me. Uh, I'm an eight meter sailboat. Is it possible to have a, a slip for one night? I'm sorry, we're close to stop over because of any more Oh, you're closed. Okay. Uh, that's frustrating. Man, that looks like kind of a cool marina. What a bummer. I just can't believe anyone would, would turn away Sam Holmes sailing. Oh, that's a bad move, Brest uh, Chateau Marina. Chateau Marina de Chateau. Oh. Oh. I'm appalled. I'm appalled by you, Marina de Chateau. Well, from the looks of it, Brest appears to be a great place to do fun water sports. I'm really wishing I had my wing foil set up now. Maybe I can rent one here. The second marina let me in, no problem. Well, actually, I just took a slip and then they said I could use it. Uh, and they, they had this cool drying out wall for like cleaning your boat and doing work and stuff. I found the, the racing boats. So cool to see the interesting designs and like config, cockpit configurations. Uh, they've got these like poles out on the side instead of having spreaders because the masts just rotate. And then there's that kind of boat. All the way, the point is everywhere. Thanks for watching. In the next video, I'll be posting my Bay of Biscay crossing, and it was very challenging, so keep an eye out for that one in a few more days. Um, oh, and if anybody ha lives in Malta or has an address or a property there, um, you might be able to help me out with something. Uh, just send me an email or leave me a comment. Um, other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video.